Hello, sorry for being a little bit uh, messed up today. <laughs> that is why, what is this doing this here? I got the long, wrong one, just a second. Um, I got messed up by the weather today and it started a few hours ago. I was hoping it wouldn't be that bad. Unfortunately, it is. Um, so I cannot really work with canes. We are expecting a big deal of uh, bad weather starting later today. I think that might have actually started. If you give me just a second, I'll be able to, to check. And it's going to last till practically Thursday morning. And uh, it makes me really bad i mean it's going to be today this tonight tomorrow tuesday wednesday wednesday night and possibly thursday morning so and with the worst part being tuesday so because of that i rescheduled the uh, covering the egg with cane slices for friday just to be on the safe side because I thought, what if Thursday the bad weather extends? And uh, I'm going to show you a really neat little trick that makes absolutely fabulous um, effects. Uh, so let me say hello. Hi, Ilyanka. Hi, Karen. Hi, Sharon. Hi, Ramona. Hi, Elaine. Thank you for making it. Hi, Sonia. Hi, Anna. Hi, Linda. And hi, Matnats. Uh, it's very hot here, but I managed to not open the door, outside door, a lot. So I was able to uh, not have to turn on the <laughs> AC yet. So, what will you need for this kind of stuff? You will need uh, a texture that is very, very fine. And... Um, you can get it in this i'm still trying to find another one because the one that i had on my amazon influencer store um wasn't available anymore and i'm trying to find another one uh, but uh, there's also a uh cernet uh spiral that uh does a good uh thing with it and uh, let me actually show you which of them. So I think that it is in Cernit. Cernit Textures. Let me see if it's here or in the... No, it is in the textures. Cernit Texture Plates. Because they are very fine. I do have some. But let me show you which of them is the... They have a spiral. This one. It's very delicate. And will work perfectly for this kind of stuff. And then... Um, to get on... Uh, give me just a second. Let me get on my... Because I need to get from the viewer's point of view on my influencer store. So I can show you. Okay, so if you go on my influencer store and you look for textures. Uh, I hope I didn't get past them. By the way, I don't know if I told you, but cast clay um, can be found on Amazon now. Oh, come on. There we go. Okay, in the cool tools, there are some, wherever you see a fine line in cool, cool tools, that's going to be a good one. 
like this uh, mosaic tile but your best bet uh, baby's breath is also good your best bet is in the um, uh, jewelers this one dandelion fine fine line will work beautifully i don't have that one so i cannot show you on it and then the the fine jewelry artist uh, remember that you can do the ancient people stuff as well because they are fine line but in the jewelry line there's a lot of them that are very fine lined and um, they would work beautifully and to give you an example these are a few that I still uh, they are still on my wish list uh, if you look for example here it doesn't have a large but you have all kinds of uh, Maori type uh, stuff with sea turtles and uh, dolphins and um, what you call it narvals and then the spring live everything you see fine line should work it doesn't let me open in a new tab anymore see this one should work beautifully and uh, this is a technique that I think I've shown you before and hi Hirasuna uh, that is a satin slice that can be practically flattened but you have to be very careful how to work with it and it works only with very fine line textures high silver but in this one i will bank on that specific um, uh, thing but you know what an interference is an interference powder like we have the interference blue or interference red or so on and so forth in uh the perlex and in other brands of mica but um the opal magic line of the art alchemy waxes they are all interference that means that if applied on black they will show a beautiful um, iridescence uh, and on white they are almost invisible so we are going to bank on that into creating something that is absolutely out of this world. This was part of one of my sponsor live tutorials years ago. I don't know, like three years, four years ago. Um, and sometimes I will show you when it's very, very old uh, live tutorials. By the way, uh, my sponsors have access to, I, I just counted to close to 290 uh, live videos from the sponsors um, uh, side with all kinds of tips and tricks and other things so uh, the moment you become one of my sponsors you automatically get access to all these uh, former lives um, now let's go ahead and start with it what we are going to do we are going to do the and i'm going to show you let's do this one this one is a super 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 duper fine something here uh, let me try and refocus so you can see exactly what I'm talking about and the, the finer your um, texture the prettier the effect will be see how super 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 fine it is so what I'm going to do is to first start hi Zara and I'm going to get some white on a very fine setting <laughs> B 
because I don't want it to start going all over the place. Let me grab a smaller blade. When they are this tiny, you cannot make very big things out of them, but uh, those other Tefai 9 textures, and I'll grab one, I just couldn't bring everything here because I'm working on something, I'm doing some experiments. Okay, so remember that I usually kind of do my satin slice in one So just, you'll have to use a cosmetic sponge. I really need a new sponge because this one is getting so old that the edges are starting to fray up. Okay. And then, as with all satin slices, I am going to... I know this. Uh, these small ones are a little bit harder to hold to work the pivot thing let me get one of my cane blades might work better and this is a very s thin also so it's not very rigid it tends to buckle when you work on it too much when you try to but i'm still going to get there and there we go but even if it's going to be a small thing, we can still make it pretty. I do have a couple little dots I've missed there, but that's fine. Not going to be a disaster. Okay, now remember in order to get a good satin slice impression, you need to make sure that your clay is well stuck to the tile and then I'm going to place this and I'm going to place it like this to be easier to control and then press it first with my fingers and if need be do a few rolls and then gently peel the thing over let me zoom and focus better so you can see what happened here as i said it's a super fine thing There we go. Hi, Skywalker. Okay, so now we got this, and you can see how absolutely beautiful and delicate it is. And let me grab a cutter. I'm going to use an oval so that I can get the most out of it. And this should work just fine. And there we go. I have a very pretty For the next part, I'm going to set it on a 
mirror tile. And I'm keeping this here because I'm going to have to cut again. And my next thing is to flatten those. You see, they are still, they still have a little bit of rays, even if they are so fine, they still will look raised. Grab a piece of wax paper. And yeah, I do sometimes use those deli papers, but I think that the wax paper is uh, stiffer. Okay, at this point I know that my whole thing now is perfectly flat. And I can feel it flat. Now, remember what I said about the interference um, powders and micas. You can use a powder, but you'll be aware that you'll have to seal it, right? Okay, now, let's grab some of the turquoise satin because that is a beautiful blue and what you'll see that is going to happen is that the black will get all that shiny prettiness of the interference color while the white won't so Let's grab now something that's a little pinkish and I'm going to grab the royal robes. And you can use just one, but uh, I mean, I have more than one color, so I'm going to use that. And then I'm going to clean my finger really good and then go over to grab whatever's not. And my last thing will be to cut again. And to make sure that my thing is still nice and pretty. Here's my we got this and you're gonna say but it's so tiny what am I going to do with it well so if you find something like this and it is all tiny hold on I need to so you can see all the prettiness of it and let's get out of zoom and focus a little closer and get the warm color on the light and now we can see the that it gives a kind of brocaded effect and get it more in daylight type again I would have to to tape this in daylight because it's a little hard to to see properly but the the whole idea is that it gets you don't lose your pattern but it will have all these shimmering 
color on it. Now, <coughs> as I said, that is kind of tiny. So if you have something that is tiny, tiny, and you cannot make anything larger than this, uh, it is very simple. All you have to do is to make a bezel and I'm going to just place it directly on the mirror and then afterwards I can place a backing on it so let's get this one and I'm going to use my big screw on it Let's go in a diagonal. And now I can go ahead and cut a straight line with it. I'm going to cut this straight where one of those little lines ends. going to be this one should be fine if not I'm going to cut it again no, it's not okay now the problem will be that I'll have to go backwards so you first measure because you're going to be extending it a little bit otherwise it will lose the diagonality so how do you cut it perfectly to to measure see you go like this and you see here is the cutting point but you'll have to kind of bring the top extend the top a little bit only the ex exterior part of the whole thing until you bring it all the way in and I'm going to need what the heck this thing didn't go And just make a little bit of of uh, fixing of the thing so it would look as much as possible <coughs> that is funny but as I said, you can find these big screws at um, Lowe's or Home Depot. And of course, you can put after that, you can put uh, um, silver on it. But see how it is. It is more noticeable. Can you put resin on it? Absolutely, you can. Um, now, let's do another one with this time with some green and let me grab one of the jewelry artist cool tools
Sorry, I have some boxes all over the place. Okay, now let's go again with this. And I'm gonna need a bigger white piece. So this is the leaves and something. Actually, let's go on the Cool Tools website so I can show you where you have to uh, look. The website is Cool Tools US, not dot US, not dot com. Okay, so let me take you with me. So these are uh, what Cool Tool makes is not textures for polymer clay, but it is textures for metal clay. Some of them are for polymer clay, but especially the fine line, the the tool, the uh, jewelry artist. Okay, so we go to texture, and they have one. They have the delicate element, but the one that you want is the jewelry artist element. In the other ones, they will have some uh, fine line, um, and I'll show you here in a second. But uh, see, they have, and here they are showing how they look like. Not, it's not the texture itself, but it is the uh, print that will that stays on the the clay that you're using. And as you can see, they are very fine because they are designed for metal clay. So for actually actual metal jewelry and you can see they have all kinds of animals and uh, they got so much better with this kind of stuff. And let me find the, the big ones. That's the one that I was showing you, the flying textures and the sea stuff, the sea creatures. So to see how they look like, because they have here, this is how it would look like on clay. And yes, they are $17, but they are 9 by 6 like this one that I have in front of me. And they have a lot of, you can see you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 15 uh, animals. And I am in no way uh, connected to um, cool tools. So I don't make any money un unless you buy them from my Amazon influencer store. Uh, but they don't sell that much on, uh, on the influencer store. Okay, this would be, where's the leaves and stuff? And they have like forest foliage. See, this is all kinds of beautiful little prints. So if you want to work very delicately, this is where you're supposed to, to look. Is done. I must have passed it. Okay, wild rose elements. I'm not sure if it's this one. No, it's not this one. But this one is similar. The wild. Oh, there you go. Leaf and seed. This is the one that I'm going to work with. So this is how it looks like on clay. This is the total of it only my mine is much older so they were still using the gray one in the delicate element and I call them to make sure and to ask in the delicate elements uh, generally all their textures only the blue ones are bakeable and they are beautiful for um, liquid clay I do have one with the Celtic knot I have this one the in a tangle but uh, you can see, and they are big again. These are very big ones. They are not uh, smaller ones. They might be two times the price of uh, 
anything else but uh, the thing is that like for the stained glass heart this is on my list of buying but I'm going to use the, the tangle to show you how you can make a very beautiful looking um, and this enamorata too is gorgeous um, enamel like thing as well as a um, stained glass like thing so you see you have several elements on it and it is a six by nine the same as uh, the other ones but what I was saying about um, the fine lines let me see the mega tiles and they have some that are just two by four those are the ones that are cheaper but let me find what I wanted to show you see the Celtic over and under is gorgeous and see this is the difference so this is a the regular Celtic over and under this is how it's going to look like and then they have the same thing in fine line so you see the difference it will be super 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 fine also they have some of their see like doodling hearts and fine line uh, sometimes fine line means that it's the reverse of it but sometimes uh, they have like you see here flowering fields and flowering fields embossed this is the inverse generally the embossed when it is a reverse they they call it embossed but um, let's see uh, wall of vines and simple leaves is embossed so they are absolutely fabulous in my opinion they are the best uh, the absolute best uh, textures you can find out there oh post the link to cool tools okay this is the jewelry artist well it is because it is precious metal clay I mean it's silver <laughs> Of course, it's going to be expensive. <coughs> okay, so let's get uh, back to it and let's make one that's going to be more spring-like. And I'm going to choose this because it's not too big and not too small. And these are gorgeous also to make super fine... Um, um, enamel like cloisonne, four enamel cloisonne. Okay, so once again I'm going to put this here and then I'm going to use my cosmetic sponge. making sure that I got all of it now on this one it's easier to work with the regular thing hi Sandra yes the pattern is super crisp and uh, it gives you the possibility to make your polymer clay actually look like the actual metal Okay, I still have a few more. I think I'm gonna try again do that with the cane slicer because I think that it's less it grabs less at the clay than the big, the rigid blade. Let's see. Yes, work. 
that's bad. So, note to self, we use the flexible thin blade, not the rigid blade anymore for subtle slice. I still have a bit here that it didn't go all the way through. If you haven't seen, I, I saw this, I had problems before with doing the satin slice because of my hands. But I learned this from one of Lisa Pavelka's uh, online YouTube tutorials. The pivoting blade and the way that you do it, you hold it. Let me bring my little window back up. You hold the blade on one end and then you slightly curve it and you curve it close to the texture and where you curve it is going to grab so you can see that it grabs perfectly and leaves your uh, design absolutely gorgeously looking okay now let me grab this back on the and the same as before first get your uh, clay on the table and nicely get it burnished especially to get rid if you have my making leaves on the because of the gears i guess on the very thick texture uh setting it leaves the the gear lines so whenever i do something that's um more or less thick i have to to make sure that Okay, let me not use all of it because I might dirty it too much. On this one, I can go with the round. So, just to be on the safe side, I'm going to cut a larger piece than what this is. Make sure that I place, place it pretty much on top. I hope I didn't mess up. <laughs> okay. Now, gently start folding and peeling. Here we go. See how beautiful and fine it is? It's practically gorgeous. Uh, get this. I forgot to bring more mirrors here. I had stuff baking. And I forgot to take it off and free the mirrors. And you can do this on another type of baking tile. It's entirely up to you. So place it here and then nicely burnish it so your first thing when you're burnishing the when you're flattening the satin slice your first thing is you grab the acrylic block 
and your first thing is to press down don't do anything else don't start moving and burnishing because that's going to deform your design so what you want you want for the clay on top to be pushed in the clay below so and after that you can go ahead and do a little bit of burnishing especially if you know notice any kind of remember the the wax paper is going to tell you if something is not perfectly flat because you'll have uh, spots where it will be lighter and that is where it doesn't adhere to the clay under it and there we go now I can cut so let me see This one is too small. Let's grab this one. I'm going to have to take it off away from the camera because I need to look from above to make sure I cut it properly. Alrighty. And again the same thing as with the other one only as I said now I'm going to use some green and that is the green brocade and some pink again so I'm going to use again the actually let's get the blue velvet because that one also has see the difference between the blue velvet and the royal robes the royal robes has a greenish tinge to the pink and the blue velvet has a bluish tinge to the pink so put it back so i'm going to go royal robes in the middle uh, blue velvet in the middle the green brocade on the edge green brocade is a yellow gold yellowish goldish you don't want to put too much that's why I told you after you're done you need to come back and uh, do a little bit of damage control so let me clean my finger and then go starting you start from the one of the colors towards the other color and there we go make sure we don't need to cut because I kept manipulating and pressing I did have a little piece here but and you can use um, you can use for example uh, pearl or you can put even some very fine glitter in the white mix it with a little bit of uh, translucent and with very fine glitter and it will come up even prettier than this so let me grab a different kind of texture if you give me just a second get rid of this part here
And the thing is that Cool Tools also has uh, bars. So I'm going to use a bar here. And let me use a very simple one that I wouldn't have problems putting together. So first of all, make sure that I have this is the proper by the way if you didn't know how to measure you always have to keep in mind that it's going to be a little bit longer once you're done uh, placing it so if you want to make sure that you have a long enough piece you kind of go like this so you see it's not long enough I'm going to get with the uh, with it through the machine a few more times to to go too too long either alrighty so this should be good remember you have to give a little room because it's going to lengthen some more so my first thing is a little bit of armor all on the clay not on the texture And I said I was going to use this one. It's going to lift. I know it's going to lift, but that's fine. I don't have a sponge this long. bit and I said I was going to choose the one with the little eyelets I'm going to get up and get another wax too I didn't do that terrific of a job but it's going to be okay I can go ahead and do another one later And again, you want to be able to, so I'm going to go a little bit on a diagonal, both like this and like this. So pretty much like this so that I can come with the next one and put it right on top of it and it will be much easier to feather in. But just to, to show you how it looks like, give me just a second. Of course you can use you can use the gold or whatever but I'm going to use the mint sparkle because it's one of my most favorite colors of their uh, metallics metallic line and I think it would uh, go really good with uh, that green brocade on it so This one is not an interference wax. And I normally would put the wax on it after I put it on, but just to, to show you how it, how it all comes together. So grab this again and I'm going to go 
flatten it against it and as I said I I'm going to do something long enough later but this is the general look of it and of course you can leave it just without a bezel <coughs> and just put some resin on it and it will still look just fine and remember if you do not have these waxes and you intend to resin it on top just use the interference uh, uh, powders of Perlex because they will work just fine. You don't have to buy these necessarily, absolutely. Uh, they are a good thing and they last like forever. I mean, I got these, I don't know, like three years ago. And you can see that they are barely used because you only take a little bit on top of your uh, fingertip. And that's pretty much it. So yeah this is and you can do as i was saying about this kind of stuff uh, remember that i was showing you the and let me find it again uh i think it is in the i think it is in the mega tiles let me see let's go back on the display uh, remember I was showing you in my Amazon influencer store uh, the um, hieroglyphs and paleolithic and uh, they also have some Maya hieroglyphs and all that but let me find it there's a hieroglyphs uh, and paleolithic they are fine line oh there you go I just went past it it was right at the very end okay so this is a hieroglyphs fine line and you can use this technique with like black on gold or blue on gold and uh, let me show you the the one that works great to do uh, the ancient people fine line would work great if you want to make like some kind of engraved pendant on bone or on wood uh, again with black over the full bone or full wood and you can uh, flatten it in and I think that they had one more I'm not sure but I seem to remember another one uh, if I could I would get oh yeah the dancing spirits but uh, there we go the fine line i was going to say we need the fine line uh this one is more native american cocopelli type of stuff let's see and it works beautifully there are so many things you can do with this technique you can even do like if you go on um, tribal spirits for example you can uh, do the satin slice with, di with different colors for the, the bars and the different color for the Thunderbird and, and so on and so forth. They are amazing possibilities to, to use with this specific technique. So I hope you enjoyed it. And you will try for yourself and as I said we'll do the egg thing uh, Friday when hopefully my hands are, are be are going to get better I do need to go to the doctor to get shots in my shoulders and in my hands but uh, you know I want first to get I'm scheduled for my booster Friday shouldn't be bad I didn't think about this <laughs> shouldn't be bad though because considering how I mean, with the first booster, I barely had any problems, and that was a couple hours after I had the shot. But just in case, if I feel bad, then we're going to do it on Easter. That's it. And remember, Easter next Sunday, because next Sunday is the 17th, right? It, it's Easter. Uh, I will have the Easter giveaway for another one hundred dollars cert gift certificate for uh, Polyclay Play. Okay, 
and don't forget uh, number one please use poly clay play because it's a one woman business and she's a crafter and she's an artist like us and she's the only one the only person behind that online store and please don't forget to access poly clay play through my link because that way I can do I can buy myself supply supplies and I can also uh, do these giveaways okay Thank you, thank you so much, and uh, I will see you hopefully Friday. If not, we're going to just do the giveaway. <laughs> thank you. Have a wonderful, wonderful week. Don't forget to thumbs up.